And what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Acceleration Sub for another video. Hope you're all having an absolutely awesome Friday, and hopefully this makes it a little bit better. It is time to announce the winner of the 850 subscriber giveaway. And as you all know, the big prize was probably the prize you guys have been most excited about on the channel so far. It was this movie accurate gold synchro custom made by Randy. You guys absolutely went crazy on it. It was amazing the amount of comments uh, just saying, you know, this is the best prize we've given away so far, so on and so forth. So you guys keep being sure to hype up Randy down in the comments. Let him know how much you appreciate his work because uh, it was really kind of him to give this to us to give away. And as always, I'm going to leave the link to his eBay store down in the description of the video. So if you don't have his eBay page saved yet, go in there, save it. That way you're alerted every time he lists new customs on eBay. But before we jump into the 850 subscriber giveaway results, um, just want to take a quick moment, show you guys some Highway 35 cars that I've gotten in over the last week or so. Um, including one pretty rare one. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these Highway 35 cars I've come across. All right, so let's take a look at some of the Highway 35 cars I've been able to come across recently. First up is a Firebird IROC. I've got several of these actually. Um, these actually seem to be fairly common. I know on eBay, people are selling them for like 30 to 40 bucks, but these show up like all the time. They're uh, they're pretty common, honestly. And next up we have Twin Mill. Shout out to Hot Wheels Unleashed. Then moving on, we've got a Slingshot. Slingshot's another one that has been really shooting up in price along with Crazy 8s. Um, I sold a Slingshot for like $65 not too long ago. Carded it sold almost immediately, actually. I probably should have listed it for more like $75, but uh, you know, I really didn't feel like having the most expensive on, e on eBay. But like I said, it sold immediately anyway, so I probably should have listed it for more. Next up, we have Pontiac Rages. Definitely, you know, this one might be one of the most common cars between this and like Mega Duty. I see Pontiac Rages everywhere, and it seems like everybody that's selling one has like four of them. <laughs> Next up, we have Zotic, and then Ballistic, one more Road Beast car, and then we have three more cars. These were a little bit harder to find ones. We have another Twin Mill. Then we have a Muscle Tone. I've never been a huge fan of Muscle Tone, honestly. Um, I definitely prefer this Muscle Tone to the Trackset Muscle Tone. I like that it has the, uh, the decals all the way across the top. But uh, it does have a pretty cool paint job, I'm not gonna lie. So Muscle Tone, and then the last car that we've got is the Road Beast's Vulture. And everybody knows about Vulture and what it has been doing recently on the market. Um, it really did go from like a 30 to $40 car, not even like a year ago, up to like, people are charging almost $200 now for Vulture. There's only one or two listed at a time though, so obviously it's pretty easy for the price to be influenced. But um, definitely not good to see cars shoot up that rapidly, like almost scary fast. So these are just a few of the Highway 35 cars that I've had coming in recently. And uh, obviously these are some of the rare ones, Muscle Tone and Vulture. I got a, I actually think I have three or four of these twin mills right now. That one's really not that rare, but uh, Vulture is definitely the crown jewel of this lot. I want to say for all of these, I paid something like $208, let me think. No, it was $228 total for these. And I mean, honestly, if you can sell a Vulture for 200 bucks, then it's a pretty easy profit. But uh, I can't bring myself to list a Vulture for that much, honestly. But some of these are already sold to buyers, so you probably won't see many of them on my eBay page. But if you do have any interest in these, feel free to shoot me an email and maybe we can work something out or I can let you know which ones are still available. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of those Highway 35 cars that we just recently got back in stock. I'm starting to try and collect more of those here and there. But uh, with the way some of those prices are going, I mean, it, it really is crazy. You know, I mean, like power pipes, Chrysler Thunderbolt, Stingray, Aeroflash, all these cars are now like easily torching $100. Some of them are $150. If there haven't been one listed for a little while, people are listing them for like $250. It is crazy. It's like that reverb that just got listed on eBay for like $400. That is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, even like $250 for a reverb is a lot. That is way over the value of it. At least, I mean, even just within the last six months or so, but I'm not going to get on a huge tangent about price. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and transition to the 850 subscriber giveaway. And the question was, what are some accelerators customs that you guys would like to see? And you guys had some really, really awesome ideas. There were several comments with ideas that Randy has already made so far, you know, like a clip drone with wings, um, a Dior 2 that's cut in half and uh, connected with magnets. But there was a ton of love for, you know, the, uh, the Silencer's Edition cars, the Acceleron style cars, drone style cars. And from what I've gathered, pretty much any Acceleracers model, whether it's like, you know, Octanium, Drift Tech, Synchro, any Acceleracers or Highway 35 model that you'd slap a different team decal on, will be popular. <laughs> I mean, you can list just a power bomb with silencers decals or a 
a synchro with uh, drone decals and people are gonna go nuts over it. So uh, definitely makes life easy on the custom makers because they can literally make just about anything and it will go crazy with you guys. But uh, it just shows how much love everybody has for the series and how much we enjoy seeing out of the ordinary, you know, out of the box customs. I do think one of the more popular ideas that I saw over and over again in the comments was customs that have some sort of underglow on them. And I'm sure most of you guys have seen um, what's the guy's name? I want to say on Reddit, his username is like Ignitz, and he comments on my YouTube videos from time to time. He's a custom maker from down in Mexico, and he made a baseline. It was a McDonald's baseline. He actually put sort of a, what was it? It was like flashing different colored lights in the speakers of the baseline, just like in the movie, and it was super, super sick. That's probably one of the coolest customs I've seen. But uh, I think a lot of people would like to see customs sort of in that train with uh, maybe like underglow on the car, whether it's just small lights that flash here and there or change colors, that would be pretty cool. I don't know if that's really feasible for some of these cars, because I mean, some of the uh, the cars themselves are already kind of low to the ground, but that was just seemed to be an idea that popped up a lot and sort of like a, a, a Nitrox afterburner reverb style of car with sort of like blue flames on the back of it. That would be pretty sick as well. But anyways, lots of cool custom ideas. Let's go ahead and get to what you guys have really been waiting for, which is who won the movie accurate synchro. And all right, guys, it's time to see who is going to be walking away with the movie accurate synchro that Randy sent us to give away. We've got our giveaway video here. We had 128 likes on it. So you guys absolutely took care of business as far as smashing the like button goes. Let's go over to our random comment picker. We're gonna paste the link in, filter duplicate users, get YouTube comments. So we have 124 unique commenters. So you got a one in 124 shot to win, man. These giveaways are getting a little bit tougher to win now. So one in 125 shot to win. Let's see who's walking away with that synchro. And the winner is Nick Larrick, who said, since there's a Teku baseline, I'd like to see it in the rest of the three teams. I'm not sure if Kirby Moro, a Shiraco gonna have music per team or not. Oh, that would be a pretty cool to see if uh, Shiraco's music would change based on which team he was on. I'd also like to see a Teku and silencer of RDO6. That'd be lit, especially for the silencer, absolutely drone version of Hollowback. I think every car should have a drone version, honestly. Carbide, I think Metal Maniac would fit with it. You know, it does kind of have that rat rod look to it, sort of like a uh, ratified. But uh, big congratulations to Nick Lair for winning the movie Accurate Synchro. I'm gonna leave my email down in the description of the video. Shoot me an email. We'll work out the shipping details of getting your prize to you. And once again, congratulations. So once again, shout out to Nick for winning the giveaway. And we have the 900 subscriber giveaway coming right around the corner. Hopefully sometime next week, I'll get that posted. I have a couple more videos that I need to post before then, but uh, hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have that video up. And then, like I said, we've got the 1000 subscriber giveaway. We're gonna skip 950 and go to 1000 and that's gonna be you know every 100 from here on out. And uh, who knows, at one point, maybe I'll even push it back to 200 because we have been getting subs pretty, pretty quickly, which is a huge shout out to you guys. But anyways, like I always say, if you didn't win, don't be discouraged. We've done, I think, what is it like 15, 18 giveaways on the channel. It's done a lot of giveaways. Anyways, there's not gonna be any shortage of giveaways, so you're gonna have lots of opportunities to win some free, cool acceleration stuff. So do not despair. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Uh, be sure to smash the like button for the movie accurate synchro because it is just absolutely beautiful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.